Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, Penright Oil, Hair and Forbes Machinery House and Pace Farm Eggs. Hello and welcome to a very special episode of Classic Restos. But first, here's this. It's thanks to Shannon's. Ask about multi-policy discounts and sign up for the Shannon's Club. Call 134646 for a quote and see more at shannons.com.au. For oils, coolants, additives and technical assistance, oil right, use Penright. And Heron Forbes has the range. Buy online at machineryhouse.com.au. This week, boy, do I have a show for you. It's a return back here to Detroit in Michigan, United States of America. And this particular episode has been made possible. It's a big thanks to Hair and Forbes Machinery House. Well, you've no doubt heard of the TV show American Jewelry and Loan, filmed on location here in Detroit. Well, Les and Seth Gold have become good friends, and Les has agreed to be a part of today's show. Now having said that, we also need some cars. Now Les has been good enough to lend me his car park, and I've got some guys behind me that have also been good enough to bring us some classic cars. I am in the Motown city of Detroit. It's America's comeback city. After decades of recession, Detroit is starting to move forward. One key element is the die-hard locals that keep the economy moving. And as Fletch Tours depicts, tourism is another major slice of the income pie. Detroit is home to 5.3 million people, making it the 14th most populated metropolitan area in the United States and the second largest in the Midwestern United States behind Chicago. It was founded on July 24, 1701. July 18, 2013 was a sad day. Detroit filed the largest municipal bankruptcy case in US history. A wake-up call to every major city in the United States. With the city's legendary and unprecedented method of surviving, many contingency plans went into action. Cutting a long story short, the city of Detroit successfully exited municipal bankruptcy with all finances handed back to the city at midnight on December 11, 2014. Hence why Detroit will go down in the history books as the comeback city. You know, there's just something about the atmosphere of being here in Detroit where automotive history all began, well, a big part of it, and then catching up with car guys such as Russ. How you doing, Russ? Good to see you again, Fletch. That's Appreciate good. you the time. That's all right. Thank you. Thank you. Now, Russ, you've brought here to American Jewelry and Loan this sensational 55 Chevy. Now, uh, look... You've thrown a lot of bucks at this car. It's a very special car. Yeah, Tell us the rundown on that. Yeah, we uh, bought it with my daughter when she was uh, two years old. She's seven now. We bought it at auction, just redid the whole car. Russ, when you look through the window, what's going on with all the gear sticks there? It looks like you've uh, got something out of a Boeing. Yeah, it's, it's really a knockoff. of it's, it's an automatic transmission. It's a Prindle on the left side, park, reverse, neutral, drive, blah, blah, blah. Then the uh, three gates on the right side is one to two, two to three, and three to four, so just so I don't miss a gear, to be honest. Yeah. It'll keep you busy in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it's, you know, I'm a stick shift guy, and it's yeah. the closest you could come to a stick shift without, yeah. you know, we had a stick shift in here, unfortunately. We went, we went through seven clutches. and You went yeah. through your clutches. Now, all right, that uh, tells me there's a bit of power going on. So what yeah. sort of horsepower are we looking at? We didn't engine dyno it. We dyno chassis it. Uh, F1R, 21 pounds, and it did 927 to the tire. So we're somewhere between probably 1150 and 1200 safely. Yeah, silly horsepower, but it's, I mean, it's EFI. You gotta get to the store and, and back home quicker than anyone else in the street, right? Right, right, well, we try to. You know, I mean, if you're late for school, we step on it a little bit, you know, get, get, get up on the boost a little bit and piss the neighbors up, tick the neighbors off. Absolutely. Um, now, we, we look at the interior yeah. of the car, too. Uh, that's kind of neat, too, in contrast with the burgundy red on the outside. Yeah, you know, that's original interior color. It's original interior, um, and I didn't want to, I wanted to leave it a bench seat car. I didn't want it to have, you know, buckets and look like a hot rod. I just wanted it to be, look, uh, look 
kind of decent on its own. Yeah. It's a cool car all around, right down to the right down to the number plate, seven mile a gallon or seven gallons to the mile. You got you got you got yeah, to love that. Yeah, seven mpg. It's just kind of a joke on me. I mean, it's it, it runs pump gas. You know, we run 93, but you know, it's a 24 gallon tank. Russ, it's been an absolute pleasure having you on today's yeah. show. This is a very special episode here at Les Golds, and uh, you've taken time out to bring the the gorgeous Chev down. And uh, again, thank you so so thank much. You, Fletcher, really appreciate your time. That's all right. Appreciate it, friend. Nice to see you again. You too, buddy. The man himself, Les Gold. Les, great to be back. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Um, I really appreciate you letting me have your car park for the day. Not a problem. You're always welcome at American Jewelry and Loan. Uh, he's a good guy. It, it, it is so good to be back. Now, while I've got you here in the car park, Les, this 55 Chev behind us here, through your eyes, what do you think of this car? Well, it, it was spectacular. You know, it, it was difficult for me to really know the year because it looked like a mutt. But, man, when he opened that hood, I freaked out. 900 horsepower? Are you kidding me? It's great. What did you think of the colour, like the contrasting with the two-tone, the white roof, burgundy red? Took me back to being a kid, you know. This was one thing that I really can appreciate, being a Detroiter. You know, when I walked outside through that front door and looked at this vehicle, it, nothing spells Detroit like this car. It would make you want to get on your chain there, look through your little binocular uh, to... Jeweler's loop. It's not a binocular. It's not a monocular. It's a jeweler's loop. But it brings things close, right? It does. It, mag it magnifies them a lot. Well, we talked about this last time, didn't we? We did. We did. So it's, you know what, it's great to have you back. You know, we're, we're so envious of you living in Australia, coming to Detroit, being able to do what you do and give it back to the people of Australia. Well, thank you, Les. I do appreciate that. And by the same token as well, they don't call it the comeback city for nothing. I mean, things are moving ahead here in Detroit and uh, it's the locals, it's tourism. I mean... It's just so healthy to see. You know, it brings a lot of Australians, as a matter of fact, across 8 Mile. Detroit is the comeback city. It's strong. It's vibrant. You go downtown. You go to the streets. Really, the neighborhoods, that's where the comeback is happening. Well, I hope you're really enjoying this freezing cold episode of Classic Restos here at American Jewelry and Loan in Detroit, Michigan, United States of America. Stay in your favorite chair. I'll be back with more classics right after this. Look what Hair and Forbes has got. They've got this. They've got that. They've got this. And they've got that. They've got this. They've got that. They've got this. And they've got that. And so much more. But do you? Whatever you want, they've got. Walk through their doors, inspect their stores. Hair and Forbes has the range. And remember, you can always browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au. And remember, here in Forbes Machinery House has the range. Every weekend around Australia, motoring enthusiasts get together to share their passion for cars and bikes. It's a passion that brings us together. All sorts of people, all sorts of cars and bikes. From the classics of today to the classics of tomorrow. At Shannon's, we understand enthusiasts. So when it comes to insurance, it's got to be Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Penrite, Australian made, family owned and operated. Make premium quality engine and racing oils, warranty approved coolants, automatic transmission and manual gear oils, a complete range of engine and fuel additives, heavy duty and industrial products for every application. Visit penrideoil.com for more information. Penrite, Australian made for Australian conditions since 1926. Moving through today's incredible episode of Classic Restos, we have Derek Fowler. How are you, Derek? Hi, Fletch. How are you? Welcome I'm to Detroit. Thank you very much. Uh, you've got this sensational 46 Ford, a two-door, uh, is outstanding in every way. I'm actually lost for words. The workmanship, the craftsmanship that's gone into this vehicle is beyond me. Second to none. It's a two-door sedan converted into a woody station wagon. I mean, it's outstanding, the timber work around the car, but it contrasts so nice with the interior, with the leather inside. It's just uh, hand in hand. Outstanding. And it'll take a look at the headliner. The headliner does not have one knot of wood whatsoever in the car. Derek, how does it feel to have a car with so much significance, I guess? 
I'm truly honored to drive the car every day and it's a testament of all the people who worked on the car as well as myself and redesigning and redoing the work and redoing the paint. What powers it up front? We have a small black Chevy uh, 350 with 350 horse dual quads. Uh, it grows into a 700R with overdrive to a 9 inch Ford rear with a 3.5 gear. Great for driving the expressway, bumper to bumper traffic stays cool, great for the Woodward crews. Derek, thank you so much for bringing your car along here today. Now we're going to see you a little bit later in today's show because you're bringing back a Mercury, right? Yes, I have a 51 Mercury that was a four door converted into a two door but it also has a Carson top. It just keeps on coming here, I mean it just never ends with these guys. Thanks again mate. Thank you Fletch, I appreciate it. Thank you for having us. You're welcome. We'll talk, you. To, you, we'll talk to you a little later. Thank you. I tell you what, Les, when it comes to a badass car, it doesn't get much more badass than this. This is probably the baddest ass car I have ever seen. And I've been around a long time. I have never seen a vehicle so extraordinary as I'm looking at right now. Les, it's the level of cleverness here, isn't it? You know what? I don't know how people think about these unique things. You know, I looked at the headliner. I looked in the, in the front. It's just amazing. Yeah. I was so impressed when I sat in this vehicle and looked at those gauges. This vehicle is absolutely one of the most impressive vehicles I have ever seen. Wow. That's a big call. It's a big call. The guy that did it really impressed me. Moving through, time for Armin now. Hello, Armin. How are you? How are you doing, Fletch? I'm good. Thanks for coming along. Oh, I'm glad you invited me, man. Thanks a lot. You're welcome. Are you having fun? I'm having good. Oh, you can't ex express how much fun I'm having, buddy. The 32, your Ford here, 392 Hemi. Uh, th this is a, another car that's beyond words. Tell us the deal. How long have you had it and well, what have you done? I've owned it about 16 years. Uh, it's a 392. I got about 425 horse. Uh, I got a GM uh, Turbo 400 Trans and I got a GM rear end in it. I got air ride suspension. I got uh, disc brakes on the front. I got drums on the back and uh, it's fast. <laughs> it's a fast car. A buddy of mine took it at the strip one time. He turned a 1090. I didn't want to do it. You know, let him drive it. Um, and the big bad 392 Hemi there dressed beautifully with two four barrel cars. Are they both 600s? Yep, both six, 600s. Six or 650s. I think they're 600s, quadra jets. Mm. Um, I just want to uh, thank you so much for having the day off and coming along here to Les and Seth Gold's place here uh, with your beautiful hot rod. Thank you so much. Thanks, Fletch. Thanks for having me. Thank you. You're okay, welcome. thanks again. Okay. Hasn't Armin done a wonderful job here with the 32, Les? You know, it's been a spectacular day. You know, you coming to Detroit, these people bringing these types of vehicles, I, I can't express how impressed I am that you could pull this off. <laughs> uh, let's have a look at this 32. Now, it's got a 392 Hemi in it, around 400 horsepower. Horsepower. There's something about these Hemi V8s, the width of the heads, a monstrous V8 engine in between two chassis rails here. Um, what a thing. It's so impressive, these vehicles, that these people spend so much time making them custom for themselves. It's absolutely an amazing event. Tell me, Les, as a kid growing up, you'd remember the hot rods getting around, right? Of course I do. You know, I'm you know a little younger than you. Of course. Um, so back in 1950 when I was born, these type of, these were the types of vehicles that you saw, just not souped up this way. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, kind of like your, your happy days, right? Uh, I remember my happy days. It was a long time ago. <laughs> <laughs> if there's one thing you should reward yourself, that's a Fletch tour. Have a look at this. There is nothing quite like a Fletch Tour. Carlisle or Ford Nationals, GM Nationals and Chrysler Nationals await you. Book a Fletch Tour, it's amazing. We've seen some absolutely amazing cars. What an event. Experience Route 66 from Chicago to Vegas or choose the Detroit Tour. I would make it a point to go to Fletch Tours and come to Detroit. There are five Fletch Tours. Select the one that suits you best. See FletchTours.com or contact All Things Travel, Lara. Look what Hare and Forbes has got. They've got this. They've got that. They've got this. And they've got that. They've got this. They've got that. They've got this. And they've got that. And so much more. But do you, whatever you want, they've got. Walk through their doors, inspect their stores. Hare and Forbes has the range. And remember, you can always browse and buy online at machineryhouse.com.au. And remember, 
Here in Forbes, Machinery House has the range. In 1926, Australia's Penrite Oil Company was established. Almost 90 years of research, development and refining under the harsh Australian conditions has made Penrite Oil what it is today. Precision, performance, reliability and protection. Championship winning products. Trust Penrite. We've always had a few cars. They're all special. The T-Bird. Oh, that's mine. The Combi for when we want to get away. The XR8. It's going to be a classic. They're all insured with Shannon's. We've also got Shannon's home and contents cover. Which helps protect our automotive collectibles, tools and memorabilia in the home and garage. If you're motoring enthusiasts like us, it's got to be. Shannon's. Shannon's. Insurance for motoring enthusiasts. Call 13 46 46 for a quote. Alex, you've been good enough to come along today uh, with your 1979, your Dodge truck. Now, when I hear Dodge, it spells performance, oh, and definitely. you've got the goods going on here, haven't you? Oh, yeah, it's got a 1968 Dodge uh, Hemi engine. It's a 426, and it's been... Uh, Stroked and bored and blueprinted and I tell you what, the the, en the engine might be bored, but you're not. Not when you're driving well, not it. Not around here, I'll tell you. <laughs> that's for sure. You got to pay attention all the time because it's a lot of horsepower, about 600 plus. So it can get away from you if you're not careful. Tell us about the truck in terms of its ETs. Well, uh, this truck here runs real low, 11 seconds and we're up around 130 miles an hour at the end of the quarter mile. <laughs> 130 miles an hour for a truck. Now tires out back, 18 inch, uh, that's a lot of rubber there. The tires are 18 and a half inches wide, they're 33 tall, but you need that much rubber on an engine like this because you, you come out of the hole yeah. and if you smoke them you're not going anywhere, that's so right. you need very good traction. Mm -hmm. and the front end comes up pretty good too. He's <laughs> amazing, isn't he? Uh, inside, we've uh, we've got the two racing seats, got a roll cage going on. I mean, it's just performance all the way. Oh, definitely. The seats are uh, aluminum, make it lighter. The roll cage is what they call a 12-point. Uh, it had an 8-point in it, but when I put the Hemi in, you could feel the truck twist a little bit. So I put in the extra bars and stuff. Alex, again, I just want to thank you so much for coming along today and helping to make uh, the day the fantastic one that it was. Thank you. Well, Fletch, it's great to be with you. It's a lot of fun, and I know you're working awful hard, but it's going to be worth it. No, <laughs> Good on you. We've got a 1979 truck here, 426 Hemi. This thing runs low 11s down the quarter at 130 miles an hour. Can you believe that? Are you kidding me that fast? How do you outrun a police car? This would. That definitely would, no doubt about it. My question is, why would you do it? I don't know. Well, the, the, the guy that owns it, uh, Alex, uh, you know, he's a, he's a young kid stuck in an old guy's body. We all are, aren't we? Yeah. I mean, he's got 18-inch eight, <laughs> eight, tires out back as well. I mean, wow, this thing would hook up, put the power to the pavement, and off he goes. There's no doubt about it. This is a very cool item. You know, I've said a lot of words today. Cool hasn't been one of them. This is one of them. In ending on this car, your overall opinion of it as a truck. Well, you know, you know what, does, a, what, what does it do for you? Well, as a truck, it's it's a nice vehicle. But the way he's made the performance, the way he's made this truck look, it's spectacular. <laughs> it's always great to get the <laughs> opinions of Les Gold on these particular vehicles. You know, if you want to get my real opinion, come on a Fletch tour. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I can't express... People are going to start thinking I'm paying you, Les. You know what? I make no money on this. No. I just really I just really like this guy. And you'd be so impressed when you go on one of his tours. <laughs> I wouldn't miss it. I can't wait to come to Australia so I can fly back and be on a Fletch tour. <laughs> Derek, what a cool car this is. A 1951 Mercury. You've got a 49 front end on it. It's a convertible car. 
It's one of a kind, probably the only one in the United States, right? Fletch, it's the only one. It was a four-door, now it's a two-door. What I did is cut the top off the car and made it into a convertible. Basically, it's a Carson top, which basically comes off Fletch. It's incredible. I mean, I love its lines. There's just so much style and sleekness, sophistication. Um, every angle you look at this car, it just looks good. Absolutely, yeah. And we've taken the chrome off it, French the headlights, uh, put a small black Chevy into it. With, uh, it's got tri-power on it. Um, it's quite a car. It's, uh, it's got a 200 uh, transmission with a 9-inch Ford rear. And why did you choose the Chevy engine in the Ford? Uh, it's reliable. It's re <laughs> so Sorry, Ford, but it's, <laughs> to be honest with you, it's reliable. It's easy to find parts. The interior. Have a look at the interior. Goodness me. That, that's just divine. Oh, absolutely. It's, uh, there's all power seats. Uh, sixth position, uh, the back as well. It's, uh, it's state of the art. I mean, when you take a look at the inside of the car, Fletch, you'll be really impressed. Derek, thank you so much uh, for bringing two cars here today and making this episode, or helping to make this episode uh, as wonderful as it has been. Uh, I hope you've uh, enjoyed yourself and had a lot of fun. Fletch had a wonderful time. I thank you very much for coming. Welcome to Detroit. Time for this guy now, Seth. How you doing, Seth? I'm here. What's up, Fletch? Well, good to see you. Yeah, you too, you too. I thought I'd give you an opportunity on today's show because it, your dad just had the rest of it. I know, right. So you brought in five cars and you I get one? What's, well, what's that about? It's your first interview. <laughs> How, I mean, you know, I think you're doing well. Well, I appreciate that. I'm a little nervous, but you know, the, the bugs are out and I'm, I'm, I'm excited to talk to you. And you brought me a nice car too. Will you bring me a gift? I, I don't believe you're nervous. <laughs> I'm not nervous. And it's cold out here. You've got to um, share with the audience of Classic Wrestlers. You've got, you got your thermal underwear on, no, Seth? No, or no thermal underwear. Just my American Durian Loan yeah. uh, jacket, of course. Of course. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, behind us, of course, yes, the 51 Mercury. Now, through your eyes, what do you what do you think of this car? I think it's, I think it's a beautiful car. You know, it's so rare that we we get such a car in pristine condition that comes up, drives up in the parking lot, and you hand me the keys for me to go drive off, and I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> now, hypothetically, yes, talk to me. If um, if Derek came in with this car, what sort of a value would you have on this? See, Fletch, you watched the show. I don't give the first price ever. I don't talk about it. I always ask the customer, "How much do you want?" So, Fletch, how much do you think this car is worth? Fifty grand. You think it's worth? 50 grand for this 51 Mercury? Well, what would you say it's worth, <laughs> Seth? Yeah, you know, looking at it, I didn't really get a good glimpse of it. I don't know, what would you say, about uh, 30, 30... 5,000? But if I said 30, 35,000, you'd come in at 2021. 20, of course, I can't give you what you want. No, it is a beautiful car. Um, you know, anytime you can come to Motor City, see a wide assortment of cars, again, you only let me see one out of the five, but I appreciate that. Thank you very much. <laughs> All right. On that note, buddy, thanks for uh, being on this episode of Classic Restos and uh, for me to have your car park for the day. Yeah, no problem. Uh, we're charging you rent, and so just expect the bill in the mail soon. God, you like. <laughs> God, you like your old man, aren't you? I am, I am. It's always, you know, yeah. the apple doesn't fall far. No, <laughs> two peas in a pot. There you go, man. Well, we appreciate having you here. Thank you. Thanks, Seth. No problem. Well, see you've upgraded it's, into a leather coat. Well, I've got to confess, Les, I just went in there and went to the rack and uh, got a shebang. Well, that's a good shebang, and now just give me a couple hundred shebangs, and we're even, Stephen. Why waiting. did you want to just was, rent it? I was waiting for that. Rent, well, I, pay you, rent, I can pay rent on it. You can. It's a hundred bucks to rent it. Well, it's only 175 to buy it. So, give me a hundred to rent it. This way, I can put it back on the rack. What do you think? I'm not a good businessman. You will never, ever, ever get the last word in with this guy. Perfect. All right. You're it. You know what? It's also come to that part of the show. It's a sad part of the show now because it's the end. Are you kidding me? Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. the end I, of the I, show. I, I have a tear in my eye. I know you're devastated. I am. Um, you, you know what, Fletch, every time you come to the store, it's such a treat for me. I love it. I'm not <laughs> kidding. I'm not kidding. That's why we invited you here. Well, thank you very much. And uh, again, I just want to thank you for everything. Uh, the hospitality here today, the use of your car park, the cars coming along, your time as well. It's been fantastic. I, I, I appreciate you more than you can imagine. Oh, that's lovely. Thank you. My pleasure. And, uh, I'll be seeing you back here next year. I can't wait to have you back. All right. Remember, Fletch Tours, come to Detroit, see the Dream Cruise, and see me and my best friend Fletch yeah. at American Julian Loan. Yeah. And bring some money with you, will you? Well, that's the only... That, that keeps him happy. They have to bring money. So make sure you go to the bank, <laughs> withdraw some money so you can buy some stuff at American Jewelry. Yeah. Watch Fletch Tours and Classic Car Restos. There you go. He nearly got it right. Classic oh, Restos. Classic cla Restos. Classic Restos. Classic Car Restos. I don't yeah. care. Watch Fletch. Yeah. On what channel? Uh, well, it's everywhere. 
It's anyway. everywhere, so make sure you watch it. It's, it's like salt. It's in everything. Everything. <laughs> we appreciate it. Thank you for coming. Okay. Thanks again, Les. Cheers, buddy. Okay. Well, I hope you've really enjoyed this week's entertaining episode of Classic Restos. Certainly an exclusive featuring Les and Seth Gold here at American Jewelry and Loan in Detroit, Michigan, United States of America. In the meantime, ClassicRestos.com.au is the website that you need for the DVD box sets of the show, Classic Restos merchandise, contact information on joining us on a Fletch tour in 2016, including Route 66, and contacting the major sponsors as well. As I say at the end of every show, no matter where you're watching from, until next week, please ride and drive safe. I'm Fletch, signing off from Detroit, Michigan, United States of America, and I thank you very much for watching. Now, where's a hot shower? God. You can like and follow us on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash classic restos TV and watch catch up episodes at shannons.com.au. Classic Restos is proudly brought to you by Shannon's Insurance, Penrite Oil, Hair and Forbes Machinery House, and Pace Farm Eggs.